So, as we end our Heart 200 journey, um, we're now going to put the bike away. It's now November the 14th and we've got to the stage whereby, um, fortunately, conditions here in Scotland are not um, good during the winter for riding bikes. A lot of salt on the road, uh, although they've not done it yet, they'll be doing that uh, or they'll be starting to put that on the road pretty, uh, pretty soon. So, we're going to put the bike away. Um, it's been uh, it's been cleaned, just polished it, and I've also just put um, some Scott oiler on it uh, for uh, just to preserve uh, uh, or keep rust from it um, during the, the winter break. I'm also then now going to put it in the bubble, which is over here, and I won't put the bags on it. Um, I'll leave it. Um, Minus the bags, we'll put that in the bubble and uh, that should be away for the winter. Uh, what I'm also aware is that I've never really discussed, uh, it's called the Rollweb Road King, but we've never really discussed anything about the bike or <laughs> Rollweb uh, during the uh, first few um, episodes of the, the Heart 200 journey. So um, maybe um, to tell you all bike enthusiasts a wee bit about the bike, first of all, um, I'll cover that. Um, Personally, I drive the things, so I um, don't know much about them. Um, I come here with my key, I turn it on and away we go, and once a year it goes into Harley-Davidson, uh, West Coast Harley-Davidson in Glasgow, and it gets a service. Um, it's booked in for a February service. Um, I've taken the windshield off it at the moment because I scratched it, and I've ordered a new one, and that'll get put on uh, when the service happens at the end of February, so... Basically, the bike won't come out of the bubble now um, for the best part. I'll take it out occasionally to stop the uh, flattening the, the tyres, but um, basically it's in the bubble now for the next four and a bit months. So, yeah, I'll miss it, but we'd, our, our, our weather isn't really conducive to keep it um, keep it out in the road. Uh, it's better away. This is the second year it's been in the bubble. Um, also, um, when uh, it's in in February, I've ordered the new LED lights for the uh, so I've ordered LEDs for these um, so um, you know be safe be seen and uh, that's what I hope uh, that's what I hope we'll do maybe tell you a couple of wee bits about the bike before um, before uh, I put it away um, when I got the bike I got the bike in um, November 2018 bought it from West Coast Harley um, had the hoods on the headlights, I don't know what they're called, and it had the, the Screaming Eagle uh, filter, um, and it had the Reinhardt pipes. Um, so when I got it, um, I've put on the put on the sissy bar. Um, I've put on the heated grips. Um, and also the Willy G foot pegs, brake, and selector, clutch, and pedals. So they're all Willy G. I've added that. And I've also put the braided uh, metal um, clutch and brake lines here. I just think they look, uh, the, the, the bike looks a lot smarter with that. And apart from that, that's about it. And oh, very importantly, the Rollweb Road King logo um, went on as well. So that's basically additions. Oh, the other thing, um, the oil, I've got the digital oil um, reader here, so that's it. So um, with that and the, as I said, I had to take the windshield off because it's scratched. We've got a new one for that and the lights change in February. Um, West Coast Harley Davidson are very good. They do a deal whereby they come and pick up the bike um, in a transporter. So they'll do that just at the end of February, get it serviced and hopefully be ready for my new adventures in 2021, COVID-19 um, allowing, obviously. So let me tell you a wee bit about the bike. This is a 2014 Harley Davidson Road King Classic FLHRC. 60s style cruiser with 21st century performance. There you go. 1690cc six speed. 
four stroke engine, air cooled twin cam 103 with an integrated oil cooler, producing 138 newton metres of torque at 3,500 rotors per minute. Got a dry sump and produces 1299 grams of CO2 per kilometre. So that's the technical spec on it. Still planning to do the North Coast 500, very much so. Um, but pr probably before that, um, I intend to do maybe a, a couple of wee joints around. Um, well, then my plan is to do Sky, which will take me two or three days, and that would be a nice, interesting video log to do. So maybe get um, that done just in preparation for the North Coast 500, which I'm provisionally thinking. Uh, I'm provisionally thinking about uh, May time sometime. So fingers crossed for that. So. That's basically how it's going to sit now until February. As I said, I'll take it out a couple of times, make sure I don't have any sort of flat spots on the tyre. But um, basically that's it for the winter, folks. Um, I'll do another video on, I've spoken a bit obviously about, we've called it the Road Web Road King. I've spoke to you about um, why it's <laughs> the Road King and about it. And uh, prior to, Prior to me unbuck or unbubbling it in February, I'll talk to you a wee bit about uh, Rollweb, which is the other half of the Rollweb Road King. We are here today in one of our warehouses in Glasgow, our head office, and this is the area I get dedicated to every year um, for my bike. <laughs> the guys have cleaned it out a bit for me to allow me to, to get the bike in again, because we obviously need all the storage space that we've got. Um, so you're starting to see the bubble starting to to, um, to blow up as such. I usually put a couple of dust covers on top of it just to try and maybe keep it uh, in blankets, just to keep the heat in a wee bit. But um, it's coming along nicely as you can see. So, there we have the bubble bubbled up. Um, I use a carcoon bike bubble and uh, as I said this is the second year I've used it um, no complaints about it I know Harley Davidson did their own one but um, yeah very very good haven't changed the filter maybe change the filter next year give it two years before I change it but basically that's it so I'll just put the covers on it and that's it that's as ready for um, 2021 okay so I shall see you later <laughs> And that, as they say, is good night Vienna. So, that's ready for the winter, folks. And uh, there's not much more I can do this year. Um, as I said, uh, I'll do a wee video log on uh, a wee bit about the Rollweb background, which is the other half of the Rollweb Road King story. Um, I'll have the bike out a couple of times between now and February when Harley come in to do the take the car, uh, take the bike away. I nearly said car there take the bike away for its service. 
So I'll have it out a couple of times just to make sure the tyres don't go f uh, get flatted in one place. And, and basically that's it. So unfortunately there's no more riding for uh, this year. I just need to be content with my car. So um, I'll come back to you with a wee bit background on the, the Row Web story, Nick. So hang in there and please subscribe to the channel. It all helps. See you in the next video.